just a bit of contact in mid, but both teams not ready to push off of it just yet. And Jeremy with a deep push into halls early on, eliminates the entire right side of the map. Collapse towards B. DG all alone, just has to anchor, stay alive. Jesse Vash waiting for the rest of the team's backup. And Gen G, they're wise to this as well as they want to make sure they're able to clear the site safely, but they just don't have time to be able to push in as the backup's already arrived and surrounded them. But guess what? If you can just click the heads, that's all that's going to matter. Gen G holds their ground before they enter to pick up the pistol. If you were and able this to maybe is... draw out some of those precious skills that Team Secret's going to have on an eco like this, as they only run the one Sheriff on Jeremy. Jeremy, he's really been revitalized yesterday, uh, picking up a lot of kills, really climbing the power ranking as well. We'll see if that comes to fruition on the Sheriff. Some nice shots there to delay that Trailblazer. It's not going to get through the Toxic screen, so no info here for Gen.G. Oh, and it's going to be a double stack right around the corner. They didn't quite check it, and it's going to be one kill each for Jeremy. Jeremy picking up a second as well. Spike dropped at the entrance. Sure, it's just Classic Center Sheriff, but it's way too dangerous for Gen.G. They want a long-range battle. Drone trying to just aggress onto that crosshair of Lockia. And NDG on the flank. Lockia just has too many targets. He wants to isolate 1v1, trying to pick up NDG. He's so concerned about his back. And Team Secret just will not budge time on their side. He picks it up and he cannot swing onto the second. Envy will pick up another kill to his name and they side will get Team them. Secret. And being on that defensive side, they have no reason to give too much information. Yeah, and if there's any two players who can get it done with Marshalls, I was just about yeah. to say, it's Meteor and Texture for sure. And Meteor already finds one. I mean, of course, the early kill onto mid as well, kind of forcing Gen G's hand uh, to move forward. But Meteor is going to make sure that they can stabilize. Still holding onto mid with Texture lurking there. Is he aware that the potential push for Envy is going to come out? He just is not. They're neither, neither of them checking next to them, hiding right behind the box, just oh in between them. And Envy just walks right in front of him, but it's going to be the Guardian with just a slightly faster fire rate going to pick up the headshot onto Texture. Well, this is something that has plagued Team Secret throughout some of their matches. is Now over to Borkum, trying to lock down this A site. Gonna invest snake bite. Bit of utility thrown. Yeah, a lot of damage done. I mean, this Ten is already back up left. all arrived here. Even the plan is going to be tough with that fragment. They have to let go and just right into Borkum's Guardian from long range. I'm sure everyone hiding in the smokes. Meteor will be good for another shot. Bork is going to take down one more member now. Just Meteor time goes down and he will have to drop that Marshall as well. Setting up for another probably a B hit, especially with that toxic screen coming down. Yeah, it and really the starts as well. to indicate it, yeah. You know, covers the nest. It's going to be a pinch onto B. The timing's going to be have to be crucial because they're not aware that there's a bit more weight here, but a good flash onto Jeremy. He can't answer oh. back, but NDG not hit oh. by the flash, and Jeremy can recover out of his own cloudburst for a double, and that's the entire push shut down. Spike the stranded tried to take. Kind of backfired on him as there was NDG lurking in the back left. of the site. Ready to crunch. He's been great back there. Day one was a little rough since then. He's been good, but that's a very, uh, very nice that's shot from Caron. <laughs> that's the aimer, Caron. That's what he's remaining. proud. But it's going to be... Of course, another trade back. Or oh, the back flash. here. Yeah, the flash from long range as well. Envy, there's a reason he plays so much. Maybe you get a couple good ones. Maybe Texture's got a few in him this time around. <laughs> Envy, oh, okay. I thought Envy He's was just unreal. Yeah, I thought Envy was going to have the advantage there, but Meteor just flicks right up. He is pinched here as the Seekers come out. They're going to have sight. Jesse thinks it's the main force coming out from Metal Door, but it's actually going to be all from main main. Just swarming oh, onto Borkum. Pyramid's taken oh. down, and Munchkin just drawing the attention of Jesse Vash so that he could not provide backup. Yeah, this is really, really rough now as they get that Neural Theft online. Let's see Meteor. Trying to fish for some cosmic divide invested here for Gen G. Try to really make this unassailable. Texture gonna be watching mid, but Gen but you can see Jesse's already kind of stuck in between the defenses. A trade. Yeah, back and forth on that long range, but that is going to be another member down for Team Secret. They only have two. NDG has to pick off the 1v1s, and Munchkin just hiding right around the cosmic divide. Now Jesse Vash, sure, he's not spotted, but it's going to be very low on time. And you still have two members in mid. He's going to have to get instant three taps. And they're just not showing themselves. They know time is on their side. Munch can even winning it with the Sheriff. And Gen G will finally stabilize with a Thrifty of their own. Yeah, you would think for Gen G, but NDG is still all alone. Mid control being taken here by Team Secret. So the rotations should be able to come through quick. Let's see how long he can hold on. Yeah, it's just to execute. Now Texture just trying to stay alive for backup and Lockheed with a good swing out right around the pillar. We'll pick off that headshot. Now the site always meant to be empty. Fight NDG was always meant to be. is distracting Jesse Vash. He cannot come to provide that it's so so valuable recon support on that Silva. Now entering in from tunnels and texture is just going to be spammed through the boxes and the wall there. Not going to able to be able to survive. 
in a mist, the toxic screen. Oh. Recon pings him, Meteor staying alive. He's trying to isolate the 1v1s. He can't land the shot onto Envy. And now, just looking for that post map, but the zero point, and the, it's going to be the null that command as well that's just game. keeping them tied up. They cannot use their skills, and Envy's just pushing out, knowing that they that. can't do anything Pulling to stop this defuse. The half has been done. They're still able to try to continue it, and still so much time left on the clock. Yeah, so, this is just a, a lot that he can do from that position. Left. Bladestorm at the ready. I mean, this is texture. not a setup that Secret has shown yet in this map. Of course, not completely ridiculous to expect, but Jeremy just hasn't taken this close angle for the double. He has been spotted. The flash has come out with the Cloud Burst. He's going to escape, which is exactly what's needed, so NDG can start to help pick Ooh, off the kills at the entrance. Left. No backup in the site, but Texture will still force his way all the way through in the back. Bladestorm still online. He's hiding behind the box. He'll pick off another one. And, oh, the spike is trying to be stuck, having trust in Texture, but he can't get there in time. And it's going to be a 4K for NDG. Uh, you know, yeah. Whoopsie daisies with Envy. He'll call it that. A little bit of a loop de loop, and uh, it's going to be interesting here. But that look at that where that one way setup they see him, and that's, Whoa, that's a great setup. I mean, even lining up with the headshot on the jump onto the box as well. Jeremy was just prepared for it, knows Side. exactly. Nobody going for any crazy lurks just yet, nobody doing anything uh, un unorthodox on the side of Team Secret. Jesse Bash now 30 be leaning left. in, expecting. This A hit. Oh, but Envy's position is so good. He does get Flash, though, right off on the pop Flash. The Hunter's Fury was awaiting. Can it delay? Oh, it's actually just going to get a kill. Even gets the second tag as well. Sure, the spike will be planted and the pit will go up, but this is a risky endeavor for Gen G, but they desperately need it. No way out of this pit. Now the Neural Theft. They know that both are sitting in the site. There's no exit. They've got him surrounded. Second oh. ping as well. Shock dart, a lot of damage onto Munchkin. Both of them now so low. It's an even fight in the pit, and Jeremy's going to take the pit down. Lockia, he's wrapped all the way around, but they should have a decent idea. The last time he was pinged was in that pit. Can he line oh. it up? He cannot get the second and third. But now, it's still a 1v1, trying to go for that pop flash. He rotates over. He can't find the kill in time, and NGG will just get the defuse as Jesse Bash finishes up. And it's well, going to, to be... Cover a lot of that information. Now we'll see what the preparation is. It seemed earlier Team Secret was well aware of this potential pitch. The Seekers come out instantly out of the cloud burst, and it's going to be a flood onto the site. Three members jumping all the different angles, and each of them picking up a kill. Now Texture eventually Ooh. gets traded, and Envy's is so quick, but Munchkin coming up left. from the rear on A main picks up a double. Nice execute there, but Envy able to hide in a spot where Fight nobody's planted. really able to identify him until it's almost too late. 1v2 now. Oh, that is a wide jump swing, but he'll get the information that he so wants, and Munchkin still safely stationed. Scout. Just keeping him at bay with the Trailblazer as well, and Munchkin just standing way out in the open, hard to expect that one. As NDG gets taken down, Gen G clawing back Play. with a third round. Or if it's just going to be time spent here on the 10th round. Secret still holding strong on A side as well, just right around. But Yellow. Jeremy's going to hear those footsteps, yes, so he, I mean, he's going to know. Yeah. yeah, that's why this position is so crucial as well, right? No matter who goes out there, you have information that the exit has happened. Maybe they went mid, maybe they went A, but at the end of the day, they're not coming B site, which is why Jesse Vash now able to try to provide left. support from behind. Tripwire still holding halls as well. Fragment to buy time. They cannot rush through just yet. The door opens up. Can he get the kill? He takes out Meteor, and that makes the defense just oh so easier. Snake Bite cuts off the backup. Texture down the site alone. Genji creeping through, but Texture gets taken down. Now it's just oh one my. v one, one at a time. It's going to be Jesse Bash taking all three, and Secret leads seven to three. Yeah, because yeah, they have they have these playbooks where they need the entire set of utility other than that initial guiding yeah. light. But this time, like you said, the ultimate is there. Even if the firepower is a little bit weak, they'll get scratched up. Now they're starting to use the Nova Pulse to try to clear it out. But Jeremy's up top this time. He tail wins back, and now it's the bait and switch with NDG. Lockett will clean that up. But Jeremy, he's just too quick. He's been warmed up here at kickoff. He's here to prove that he deserves to be the primary duelist. Still holding onto the site. Spike is down. 30 seconds on the clock. Enemy remaining. Oh, Jesse Vash with another left. cleanup as well. Yeah, just so impossible for Genji to really do anything on this B site. The defense has been phenomenal. Meteor tries to go for the no-scope, get some damage, but no kill going to be found. A lot found. of people and felt like Team Secret might be the underdogs coming in here, and they certainly have something to say about that. Yeah, a lot of people question. Oh, oh my. Jeremy just putting the nail in the coffin almost in this first half. As he takes out Lockheed, the only way to securely gather information for Gen G. Initiator down, no flashes on the board, and now you really just have to duel your way into this site, but there's a pitch, just, but you didn't clear the site for utility. No reason for Team Secret to move away from it. As I see that, Borkum just kind of charging through as if they actually fully bit the bait. 
And that's going to be the A site emptied out. I know. That's exactly a great fake. I mean, what an interesting usage of that cosmic divide. Of course, now you get the information off the neural theft as well from Meteor. So this uh, push from Jesse should be accounted for and dealt with. And now it's going to be Munchkin on the Lurk as well. And I don't think Team Secret really have the leisure to account for that one. Takes out Jeremy and that about shuts off the round. Like Crosses you said, the Poison down. Cloud trying to sell the idea that they've been bottlenecked. And Team Secret starts just bite. And now just two members. They put up the Cyber Cage trying to stick to the half. They want to get one kill though. And it's not going to happen. And Gen G, when things are all said and done, 4-8, not as bad as, as well, right? So just Texture watching his back. Looks like it's always meant to be a full retake onto the A site. Should hear the toxic screen. Oh, and now they want to take out the Lurk as well. They're actually going all the way around on the minimap, all the way through Elbow. But NDG, not quite in a position you could expect. He should hear all these footsteps. He hears more than one, so he's just going to hold. He doesn't want to get picked off. He knows that he can give the information to his Can't teammates. Well. The tripwire tripped. He's going in. He sees way too many members, and he's going to get no. He's going to get one. Will survive as we do see Borkum trying to come up as a distraction. But the biggest thing is, is now they have to worry about that flank. Jeremy pushing his way out. And that will free up Team Secret to now keep all eyes on a main. The forces arriving too low for Munchkin. Envy gets one, does find the defuser, has to stop. And that's just the timing. The ping pong back and forth for Jesse Vash. And a clean pistol win for Team Secret. Phenomenal. You can run back. Now here against Gen G, kind of looking like a similar type of playstyle where they're they're just willing to let Gen G be the one to make the mistakes and then punish them, or at least find ways that Gen G's setups uh, can be used against them as well. Oh, gonna check with the drone. Does he check both angles? So he finds both targets and they've all been spotted. Only classics, no way to react to that and fight back. Secret will find a free B site. As the members of Gen G dwindle down to three, one sheriff in the hands of Texture, and because it's Texture, sure, we Five never plays. know. But now they hear it. Sheriff in the hands, not giving an easy angle, trying to set up a double there. Can't find the low target Envy either. And you gotta imagine at a certain point, Gen G, they're just holding. It's just Texture trying to get kills with the sheriff at long range, but they accept their fate. The rest of them just classics in hand, waiting for the spike to go off. Yep, that's just... Team Secret doing their due diligence. Je you know, Jesse Vash with that drone just being like, well, they could be around this corner. We haven't been here. We haven't checked it. And Jesse also good with the Guardian. Locky gets a dink, gets a kill. Well, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, hey, you just had a classic. You heard that well, they were they've got what it takes to just push right up to the finish line in map one. And it feels like so much of what Genji playing for is playing for here is off of contact. No push outs, no proactive and get information gathering, but Caron there just steps out, takes a over peeking Jeremy out. Now the information for Team Secret attempted to be gathered. Caron going to be sitting on the back of Pyramid there. Use that gravity well. That one at least delays. That's not bad. Yeah, especially with the jet down as well. They know that they have this advantage, oh, but no. no one aware of mid doors. Now there isn't a backup. Okay, we do see Munchkin trying to keep his eye on it, but there's just too much time. The timing in favor of NDG picks off one, and Lockett goes down instantly as well. The entire site, I mean, they just all get hit at the Energy same was expended time. to check that part of the map, and it pays dividends for Team Secret, who find, once again, another weakness in their defense. Oh, you see, we've got to pick off Texture, and that is not going to feel good for the star player of Gen G. We've been talking about how he's had the terminal of his life, and Meteor now trying to scrape together whatever he can. The only remaining member of Gen G from 2023, but time is not on his side, and neither are the craftiness of Team Secret as they win the dodge, 2v1. Dodge. The zero point. Now, up and over goes Team Secret once again, going for a mid-explore. I do see Munchkin at least considering this from the double doors. In fact, they're considering it for both angles. They're expecting this, and they were setting up to try to punish it, but the early pressure from the Marshals is going to back Team Secret off more towards B. Yeah. Now over into Meteor. I mean, this is a guy you wouldn't mind having this situation. And well, he's busy he's shooting, uh, so he can't get the information with his camera either, and Team Secret punishes that instantly. Realizes if the Cypher is scoping down, there's no way to react to that. Munchkin will pick up a Constellation kill, but that's all that's going to be. You gotta imagine with all this utility, all the weaponry, and of course the timing in favor of Team Secret that leads them right to map yeah, point. This is a little bit, a little bit concerning for Gen G, and just great play from Team Secret. Just absolutely phenomenal stuff from Team Secret. Did yeah. not take anything away from them. The speed, it's a little fast, but Caron, that one singular gravity well right before the Nokeman hits him, it's actually buying just enough time for backup to arrive. 
course, the weakness being applied to Envy helps pick up that initial kill of Meteor. Now we'll just wait until that KO eventually goes down. But Jesse Vash, jeez, Jesse. I mean, he is trying to clean up house. You're switching positions as well. Oh, the pop flash, flash is good. Lucky will pick that up, and they will eventually pinch on to Jesse Vash. Gen G desperately holding on to this map. Uh, I mean, Jesse's so good today, man. He is looking like he. <laughs> His birthday, like, going their way, starts to press a little bit with these lurks, tries to go for some cheeky hero plays, really pan out, now Meteor just in a world of trouble. Yes, he has some help. Well, he had some help. Oh, well, that goes down to Lunch's Fury Meteor, just trying to stay alive in the Cyber Keys, but they wait until he has to push out, and now Texture on the flank, but it's going to be a flank for flank as well. As we do see Borkum wrapping all the way into defender spawn. Now Spike is down time, somewhat favoring Gen G, but they have so few members. And the peek out from NDG doesn't get the kill. Charon has to wait until the screen goes down. He goes for a quick peek, and it's going to be the timing on Gen G on the reload. They've now entered the site. Oh, but just Texture all alone, and all three members spread out across a 13-5 one-sided victory for Team C. they get here is Team Secret before they really fully commit. Yeah, but they're not quite aware that the backup's already arrived on Waterfall. Now the Poison Cloud will actually push them back. And now Chen Chi looking for a timing on the counter push. It's going to be the Paranoia. It doesn't quite catch anyone as they all jump right around the wall. But that gives the idea to Team Secret that this was a rotate and they will just hold. They know that they can't win the timing fight if you rotate at the same time. Just looking to re-aggress, make sure that they're not losing control of Attempt to punish the orb push. Munchkin, once again, under a ton of pressure, has to get the heck out of there. All the utility forcing him back, but he's going to re-aggress on this angle. Looking to see if anybody's going to try to push in. It goes ready in for early. Out. Yeah, Jeremy coming in. It's going to be a double team as well. I mean, Munchkin not quite finding out that it was two members, and it's just kills on all sides, and we see a flawless <laughs> oh, They're definitely up there. If we ever get frenzy team skins, right, team capsules, then GE definitely yeah. rising all the way to the top of that. Uh, but here at Gen G, I mean, not trying to use any of the utility that costs some credits, so making sure that they're aware of how to claw back into this now a reverse stack onto C site. But Team Secret, they still have a minute on the clock. No reason to push this out. Bork very well aware, and he's going to be able to mow down everybody. Jeremy picks up the last cherry on top with the Vandal. And I mean, no reason to go to the other side. You might as well make sure you're holding the site here for Team Secret. What a disaster for Gen G. Uh, to Genji's credit, there was one player who was aware of it. I, in the midst of all that chaos, I couldn't quite catch who it was, but kill for Karan. Oh, gets oh. a second. Get some dinks in there. Nice. Hey, in Gen for Genji's credit, they were at least aware of that position of Borkum. Sure. Uh, obviously, the firepower not in their favor either, but the results will favor Team Secret. And now, just a full clash onto Rubble. No means of stopping here for Team Secret either, as they just keep pushing through. Borkum perhaps overheating just a bit further. Wanted to create a better angle, but his teammates not able to counteract that. Jeremy will finally follow through the snake bite, doing work to cut off Lockheed's exit into Link. And it's gonna pump the brakes a little bit here, and this time Gen G, texture on site. Munchkin in here as well. Oh, but Jeremy's just so fast on that God. swing, and now the backup being called over, but Munchkin, he knows he just needs to stay alive. They have to regroup texture on an island in tree. They don't have quite the hard sell information yet, but they do still have their suspicions on the side of Team Secret. Very wary of that tree position. Looking for a pinch, and it's going to be the showstopper to make sure that he doesn't get traded out. And Texture taken down. The site taken over by the Filipino squad. Low health not an issue as you get the site. Munchkin trying to come back around, and it's going to be Envy who was a little too focused on having trusting his teammates to push out a tree. That does give an opening for Gen G. Already a tough round, but Munchkin trying to make the best of what he has left. 2v2, Jesse Vash still remaining. Can't win the fight yet, but time in the favor of Team Secret as Munchkin just can't get the reload in time. And another bonus very, round Very, very nicely handled as they are really starting to roll with this particular match. And this is concerning for everybody else because, again, you know, obviously if you 2-0 this group, you're going to win. And oh. Jeremy is going to win that duel.
And I was a little afraid of this looking at the minimap as well. I mean, we've seen this type of pinch, the trap play from the defense as we see Team Secret just regaining control. But, I mean, with the weaker weaponry as well, I mean, Team Secret is barely aware the only Sen Borkum who does have an exit with that. Here. It doesn't seem like the firepower of Gen G has any real say in this, or they can't even get it going. Meteor, gonna drop down, heard the spike, spike plant. Planted. Gonna see if he can get a few punishes with his share up. Oh, he was ready, but yeah, not. NDG swung wide. Gotta find that first shot. It's just a stinger and a share. Most ideal would be a couple extra frags to your name, but you also have to consider Jesse Vash now on the hunt, only three points away from those Seekers. If he can get the double here, that would be the most ideal scenario for Seed Seeker. He gets one. He's trying to swing around. Lakia will eventually shut down the sky, leaving him one point away from the sky ultimate. But the round already escaping Gen G's hands, and perhaps the match as well, as they will now be down zero to four as the spike goes off. Yeah, uh, and again, this is. Very, very one opponent's time. just one day. Now clearing out those angles that Gen.G loves to hold. They often have that cross angle set up with the Killjoy utility, so back. Team Secret I've got your noticing trying. that it's a change, and that gives him the confidence to break in. The Seeker's not going to bang Meteor in time, and Jeremy stranded on the entry. Still too much utility left to be able to swarm the site. From the shadows onto the A site. This is a risk, but he's going to just stick it all the way through, and oh, Jesse, Jesse Bash will catch the rotate on Meteor. Spike planted. He had him red. He knew that Meteor likes to try to push out TP as well. A new wrinkle in Team Secret's attack plans. Texture though, good for one, not good for the other. Yeah, that's going to be Envy holding time until Jesse Vash can get through. If Borkum can just stay alive, maybe even win this 1v1 against Lakia. No, Lakia with a nice swing and a crouch will clear out the site. They have information about Rubble. They know that Jesse Vash was still on C site. Will they start the defuse? They're going to look for the stick. It's going to be the paranoia on one side. Charon still trying to defend the defuser. They're just going to barely be able to stick it and finally get a precious round win as Envy just gets a nice extra ult point to his name. Site just still being anchored down by the Viper alongside an alarm bot. And this A site seemingly prepared to empty if need be. You do have that nightfall on Lakia for a potential retake or to well, delay. I mean, he's he's going to have to find a way to get out of there potentially. Yeah. He's in a really tight spot. Oh, and Texture dies as well. That's his only exit plan. Lakia now just has to fight, but gets hit by the paranoia. The paint oh. shells doing some damage to him as well. Scratched up. Can't take the rope anymore, son, as he's just stranded in the middle of the site. The nightfall will buy time, but Jeremy has not been hit. He takes that full health to try to break it open for his teammates on Team Secret. The smoke comes up, but they spotted him right under it, and Borkum will get the spray. And Jeremy hiding in the smoke already. Munchkin just barely surviving. But too many members of Team Secret already on the site, and it's going to have to be a save. onto his opponents, bring the backup together, and scare off Team Secret. But Jeremy just barely backs out of is, is, Are they even going to be given the chance? It doesn't look like it. Look how far back Team Secret is playing, other than their three-man stack. So. They're aware that, that that could be a possibility bouncing in and a little oh. ambitious there from Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, perhaps just trying Ooh. to get the scout on to how many members are stacked up here and he gets the information, but Meteor still gets two. Now, is he aware of Borkum having crept in? Now he's very well aware. The Prowler providing the backup that will be weapons recovered as well. That's left me scratching my head a little bit with Team Secret. That one a little bit ambitious, not much help. Or Jeremy, in me though, good against Karan. That should lead to the spike plan as well on one side or the other. Oh, having a little no. too much faith that B site was open though, as Envy still trying to check onto the A side, and that's just walking right through the decay. The frenzy finishes the job for Munchkin. And Envy now just looking to get maybe the Viper's pit up and ready for the next round as time not on his side. He won't even be able to finish that as Lakia will get the last kill. A bunch of of ults available, Team Secret with their showstopper. Lining up towards C, but the push out is going to be tough for Gen G potentially if they go for this. Well, yeah, they've got a double set up as well. Just going to hide away at that box. It's going to have to be a quick peek there, and he's not going to find the kill, but it is a setup for Munchkin. He gets scratched up through the wall. The trap play from Gen G to Curiosity has killed the cat, and Meteor can't afford that in this round. Same goes for Lakia. Yeah, he'll find one, but can't escape with his life. 45 seconds still on the clock. So much leisure for Team Secret. Meteor has to win this battle if they're going to take this one. round. Oh, no. no, the swing out from NDG. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, great movement as well. Just a quick left. react on that first contact. And Charon, while carry that very, very expensive weapon over into the next round as Team Secret will claim their sixth. Go up six they to go. two. Alarm bot to check for texture 
over on the other side. Yeah, and this is, I'm very curious about this because one of the things that plagued Gen G's opponents yesterday is that even if you knew the setup, you couldn't break it. This time it's going to the Guiding Light that absolutely denies the turret that frees up Jeremy to fly high with the Showstopper. And that is going to be the site broken open and actually cleaned up as well. Jeremy and Borkham continuing to fire on all cylinders. And it's just texture left with the operator in hand. It has to be saved once again. One of the worst scenarios for your opera where you're just holding on for dear life. Yeah, this is just really apparent oh, how no. sideways it's going. Yeah, NDG should have him dead to rights here, to be I honest. Mean, it's so quick, right? It's so hard to predict that NDG would have just been chilling the entire time in the middle of the map. Oh, no, is he going to yes. go for yes. it? It's going to be the Filipino special from NDG. Welcome to Team C here. Caron does have the option to back out if things go south on C site. Now one more Nano Swarm waiting. As they do know, they like to bait this out, and Meteor just going to be holholding that off angle. We'll snipe him out of the sky. So Gen G, a good bit of an adaptation after the last one, and Borkum gets a little dicey on that Shadow Step forward, and Meteor answers back here to support the team that he's been fighting for for the past two oh. years, but it's a collab for Jesse Vash. Round still in favor of Gen G, I mean, but mental look, it can still happen. You're not out of this by any stretch of the bed. Well, they're going aggressive. Well, I mean, if they have that confidence off of that trash talk, they got to right deliver there. on it. It's going to be a triple kill for Karen on Texture. Still holding on. Lockia here for backup. Is Secret aware that there's more forces? I, they absolutely are. A two for two trade in favor of Secret and Killjoy. But the early rotate for you Munchkin. The lockdown, he wants to find a timing here, wants to isolate the 1v1s. That's He's got to find friendly. it, but Envy lines up the headshot. And again, a, a, an attempted hero play from Munchkin gets shut down. Spike planted. Trying to see if he can cut off both these players. Meteor timing. He remains. gets one. He's so Oof. quick with it. Still got it with the scope, but doesn't get the collapse. Pushed through enough to know. That, now you're going to expect one in there in some aspect or another. Seeker's going to be committed here. Clear the site. Borkum going for a little information check. Locked on to try to delay. And Meteor able to step up with a stinger and get Jeremy. All right. That should be a weapon recovered as well with this lockdown in favor of them. He will get to team, but teammates on standby. Gen G surely aware as we do see Jesse Vash just trying to get Only 20 there. seconds left. Jesse Vash is here to try to sell the fake. The Nightfall, but it's going to tag two members, and Gen G should have a strong idea. The run and gun with the Stinger, and Lockia does it when Gen G needs it most. Shuts down the round. No time for a spike plant. No way to get the ace for Borkum, but it will be a fourth round win. I'm not much area gained. Eventually, it's just the force retake on to B, but there's still an alarm about a nano swarm and the toxic screen as well. Jesse Bash is so prepared for this as oh they just my. walk right down into B. the deadliest trap in the pistol left. round. Spike down past the toxic screen. Pink shells to push him out alongside the snake bite. They'll get that kill, but they have no idea how many more members there might be. That's uh, good news for Gen G as it's just one member on the site. Now a 3v3. Not aware, not aware of Baby Dora. It's a quick swing from Texture. He pulls it out, and DG tries to find a timing. That's a risky move against the likes of Texture and Munchkin. And the entire crowd here at the S Factory trying to cheer on and the that's, home team. That's encouraging. If Texture can get into this game, then things can get real scary real fast. Yeah, you want to get him fired oh, up. But Jeremy, Jeremy shuts him right back down and says, I've been climbing that power ranking here for BCT Pacific Kickoff. Oh! Gets another shot through the smoke. Nearly a run and gun with the Sheriff. Karen's not going to feel good about that one. Gen G. Now stuck at door, Jesse Bash with a cheeky timing, but the Prowler will spot him out. Not gonna be able to use that to his advantage this time, Envy even. Another Prowler as well, full util usage, getting that value for Lockia, but Envy is just too quick with it. Jeez. I mean, this round not going in any way that it was supposed to on paper. And NDG has found a timing, but so has Meteor. Now, unbeknownst to each other, we'll walk through Ring Around the Rosie. It's going to be hard to recognize that NDG might be in the site, but Meteor, he does make sure he's throwing. Oh, Meteor, once again, going to be watching for the lurks, watching that B angle. Oh, this crossfire could be deadly. Left. Both of them elevated as well. Not sure if Gen G is going to check the left side of Whoa. Texture. He's going to make sure he's thorough, but it's Envy. One more. Texture not able to get the 180 swivel as he has to get the kill. Snake bite down as well. Time in the favor of Team Secret. 15 seconds on the clock. It has to be a quick rotate to B, but the backup has arrived. Jeremy, if he gets Ten one kill, left. once again, it's the showstopper. That raise ultimate that's going to ruin the show for Gen G. 
They will be able to stick the defuse. The kill not coming through for Jeremy. A meteor keeps Genji's hopes alive once again. Unreal from Meteor here. That was a tough spot to be in. That had to be some kills, so they had the time to get that plant down. Wrap around. Now 1v3. Munchkin, a little shaky on that, but Envy, of course, well aware of the possibility. He's got that full year of experience last year in VCT Pacific and has That's grown as an upgrade event. on the Vandal as well. Yeah, just barely gets but out. Half by here with two Marshals and a Vandal. Still that showstopper to be considered for Gen G, so they're really playing patiently. Still the haunt and other utility available. Jesse Vash getting spammed through the wall. Yeah, I, you gotta imagine Meteor's also been on the receiving end of that wall quite a few <laughs> times. So experience coming through and Texture will just blast back through. Timing not in favor of Borkum. Hands out for the paranoia and the shadow step. Oh. And a nice headline search for Texture as he clears out heaven as well. Keeps the defenders at bay. I mean, Meteor bought the time and Texture has arrived. Lotus, Chenji. Doubt they're looking so clean. Turret, check positioning. Meteor gonna try to get aggressive on the back of it. Knows the marshal's there, and he's got the double three in the round for Meteor and Genji. An operator and a showstopper of his own. The Odin in play for NDG as well. So you can see the stack towards A. Really, really strong here for Team Secret. This looks to be a trap in the making. Look where those nanos are, too. Yeah, the team alarm on it is going to signify, but the Prowler pushes him out, and the repositioned Meteor on the timing. Texture all the way up into heaven. Does the foul? Yes, he does. I will eat my words as Borkum gets taken down by the Showstopper. Thought it was going to be another moment for Texture where he misses an opponent, but it's a 180 swivel with the rocket. Now you are you got to save here, I think. Yeah, I mean, sh you have to. You invest it into that operator. Sure, you have the showstopper, but now it's absolutely Economy. a call. The real question is, is the operator, can Jeremy stay alive? He's trying to stay as far back as possible. Not going to be spammed out. Yeah, doesn't want to take that risk. As Va Jesse Vash will pick up due to his name. That's the Seekers online. Time. Yeah. So Team Secret is going to want to absorb the pressure a little bit more before they spring their trap. Yep, baby door being broken, so putting some pressure onto the B site. The paranoia as well, they actually just want to speed on through as Meteor's already taken up all the space up to the entrance. Texture in. The real question is, how do you get out? The Seekers have come through. Texture is hit. He's just trapped in the middle of the site. Spike can't go down. Eventually it does. The Snake Bite's just doing a little bit of damage onto Charon. And now a hold on the site. The lockdown early to make sure that they can buy time, and that's going to allow the pit to come up as well. The Showstopper has to be used on one part or another, but the lockdown by so much time as Jeremy just this can't round as well. Let's not let this slide any further away. Ooh, a leg tag there. And the finish from Jesse. All right, I mean, I don't mind the aggression from Texture as well, of course, trying to take out that operator. Never got sprung, so yeah. the, the trap is still going to be a little bit... Holding on to the Nano Swarm, but that's not going to pay off, and it's just a walk right through as Texture with a wide swing onto oh NPG, opens up the site. Lucky and Karen following suit. A site broken open, and Jesse Vash just will not find oh, the time. They're ready to spring the execute, and this time, as they see no reaction to the alarm bot, they say, let's just push our luck a bit further. I mean, it looks like Team Secret really wants to wait until the last minute, and they're into the site. No doubt. Uh, some nice shots from Jeremy, but the money is uh, no problem, no concern at all. Jesse Aaron. gone. Okay. Uh, well, uh, no chance for <laughs> his own to counter the duelist. Well, Munchkin might be crossing paths with Jeremy here in a second as this uh, execute is about to happen. Yeah, it's just going to be quick, clear on the utility, of course. Oh, meanwhile, on the other side, Jeremy pushes out very far out, though. Picks off the tail end of Gen G, and that forces her hand a bit. Sure, you have a minute left, but either you need to regain control of A main, or you're going to have to go for a fast push on to C. That latter part, of course, timing not in your oh, favor. Yeah. A Prowler draws out the showstopper. He doesn't have his goal. Oh, he jumps over he the rocket. Lakia, you madman. The acrobatics as he keeps the hopes of Gen G alive in this round. <laughs> It's on the clock. Kieran's going to have to jump through it. The site is not open. Now it's the From the Shadows. Chooses elsewise. You already saw the pit on A. It's the only site that was open. And he will barely get the plant with one second left. Meteor holding the angle. They have to hold on two members for now. Backup has already arrived. Lockie is still on the lurk. He's going to run into Envy. That's a death on the side of Gen G. Texture now holding from main. Meteor trusts his teammates. Gets the swing. 
Contact there, now contact ready for Heaven. And Envy's going to start oh. pushing through as so does NDG. Techs are all alone. A little late to the party with the Operator and despite the heroics of Lakia. A full send on to A. Maybe a rotate out together in through Baby Door if things really don't go there uh, in the way of their ideas. It's going to be oh, a and shot. Jeremy finds a nice timing Down shot. A. The showstopper still goes through, but the paranoia holds him at bay. Borkum hiding left. in his own smoke. The site has been cleared up, but it's going to be Texture answering back against the earlier off shot from Jeremy. Jeremy. A nice He's trying to pressure if anyone's here. Texture wants to go and he sees the barrel, but he can't find the kill. Yes, he does right at the edge. The operator down, the raise down for the speed retake, but they will start flowing through. Lockdown, Meteor can stay out of range in tree. Just opening the door. Will he actually exit? Yes, he will. They want to hold from outside, just a firing range onto the spike. Now the locked in over, and it's going to be a quick peek out, but the judge is not Ooh. what they expected. A 1v1 with Kira on solo. The judge knows it's the Van no switch up at long range, but he does not have time. Jesse Vash will try to stick it, but it's going to be too late as Gen G reaches map point on Lotus. Some util here. Toxic screen and the haunt going to be available. That might be the go time. Still the boom bot there for Jeremy to maybe cause a little disruption. He's going to push the smoke. Oh, and it's just not going to pay off. His texture just finds him right away. And now it's going to be the seas. They know that it's caught on to somebody. The Prowler there. They hear the Bucky. And that's timing for Meteor to swing around and get an easy double kill lined up. b site is now open. NDG and Borkum left alone. NDG will swing through Whoa. with some heroics. But Caron rookie for rookie. And it's going to be the last kill for Texture as S Factory blows up. And Gen G bringing us to a map three. What in the point? lineups need to work to get around those walls. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be the biggest question is how do you combat the wall? And of course, a bit of an aggressive push. Now, a lot of teams favoring, taking over Whoa. that snowman now with the site changes on B. It's going to be entire control, but they realize the site's been empty. So a little weary of this retake. And it's going to be the delayed Dizzy coming out. And it's going to get the flashes onto everyone. Munchkin set up for a nice double kill. Envy just trying to stay alive. A meteor has wrapped around. And it is a very quick retake for Gen G. Well. The wall is attempted. Kind of catch heat up a little bit towards the end of Lotus. Obviously had a rough going for the majority of that map, though. See if he can regain his confidence a bit more as we see. No armor on the side of Team Secret. Just a sheriff for Jeremy. He's aware of this angle, but Munchkin just drops down, resets his aim with the Guardian. It's going to be a quick double kill. Actually, just pushes <laughs> forward for the third as well. Envy catching strays a little bit. Jesse Vash and Meteor in a battle One to stay alive remains. more than anything, but Meteor will clean up that kill. I just, uh, great finish here by Tensor. I just love the way. Well, you're not going to be able to do some of those things that you really would like to. Drone's going to come out. Yeah, comes comes the hit. out. Love and it. That wall can't come up. Sure, the slower comes out, but they don't have full control. Munchkin gets another kill to his name as well. As the Silva now goes down, no great way to get information. As Team Secret, they haven't gotten control of the safe site, but they don't really have an exit either. They're going to have to force their way in. Caron not landing the shots, but does back them out just enough. Going to have to reposition, tries to get out with his life. Munchkin is there to go for the trade. Spike still not in position. The wall finally comes up. A flash drive to delay them. Same fight at the ready. Munchkin, another kill. Two triples back to back with the Guardian. He's still hungry for more as the Outlaw cleans up one. The 1v1 and now Texture has dashed forward. Now got the Guardian. Mind games at the ready left. between NDG and Texture, and NDG knows he still has 30 more seconds. Just wants to wait for Texture to make a mistake. The one who approaches may be the one who bites the dust, but NDG with a nice swing out from the far side. He had an open hand briefly before we cut yeah. to the replay, so I thought maybe he'd keep it, but instead they're going to opt to just keep going with this outlaw, knowing that it's all, with the economy, there's going to be a couple half armor buys that are going to have to come through if they go for it. Full rifle buys. Exactly. Just a good read on the economic situation. Still able to fire up two. Now tries to set up a trade for Munchkin, oh. but a little greedy on that one. Just wanted to buy enough time for Texture to find an exit. Sure. Now he's not going to find. NDG. I should expect that this is going to be a rotate. Yeah, indeed. You can see that Envy 
as the spike, and he's going to be moving. I, it's just been no information gathered. A nice shot by Texture oh, yeah. to take down Jeremy. Just a flick all the way around. I thought on the mini map, Jeremy absolutely should have the advantage left. there. And that shuts down the approach. Now the toxic screen the and the question gym. becomes, what does your retake look like? Texture very low at 15 HP. Can pick up a Vandal, though, so firepower coming up. And Envy not going to be able to use that Resurrection just yet. See if he gets an angle on the retake. And Lachio just a quick flick downwards, clears out NDG. Right under Raptor has been cleared, and it's going to be a collab, it looks like, from Envy. A double kill either way for the Sage. Does have the Resurrection, and that's going to bring Jesse Bash back up. It's going to be Intel and Shock Darts available. Only 15 HP and a Dream. Spots one, but the Shock Dart barely dodges it. Texture just wants to find the 1v1s, but they won't give it to him. And Team Secret ties it up 2v2. Damage yeah, with it for sure. Course. Trying to gain a little bit of space here towards Garage to put this Bucky to good use. And that's the drone, and that should spot you. Just wanted to find a time, but the Fragment actually does a little bit of damage. How does he still get two kills as he's just getting burned by his own teammate? He's got to fight for his life, takes down two. And Munchkin still hit him behind Yellow Meteor's going to get the first kill. They're just not quite aware, but it is a wide swing from Borkham. Picks up the kill after a bit of a spray. Alarm bot deleted and the site somewhat in control. The wall going to do a lot, but the real question is Vandal picked up on the flank by Texture. He's wrapping around. Spike not planted. And another kill for Meteor through the ground. And Texture will get a free kill to his name as they bounce back with a thrifty for Gen G. A little bit of humor to watch as it's going to be a double push out from both angles as well. Both onto Raptors and Pipes. And Texture, nice quick kill. No overheat, backs off. And Gen G, they've dwindled down the numbers of Team Secret down to four once again. And this was Jeremy something out there with a Marshall presence revealed. Saw you, Marsh. Just trying to make sure that they're not giving up positions on A. They even get the dizzy spot as well, and that's an easy kill for Texture. No sight line for Borkum, and Meteor holds true on B site. Side should be the main forces as nothing was spotted on B either. Just leaving Meteor to watch the potential lurk in mid. And this is the site already flooded by Jet G. Not sure if Team Secret will have any guesses to this. They start to see the wingman. They're a little wary, but Karen with a quick trade. And they haven't spotted Texture yet either. All angles still held by Jet G. And now the Thrash to push them out. He does get the detain onto both. And it's just going to be a quick chase down as they're trying to find the last member. And Lakia will chase him down. Jet G with a great rotate, great read on mid. Texture here. Now finally, with an Operator in hand, Meteor has a lockdown as well to boot. Four alts for Team Secret, and the opener oh, for Texture no. is good. And it's Sage as well. I mean, that absolutely oh. breaks apart the composition of Team Secret. The Viper down as oh. well, and the kill doesn't come through, and it's going to be the same oh. from Lakia. They just cannot down, get this jet out of this position. 8 HP and still alive. No need to reload if you're just able to find the shot for Texture. Very confident. Has his back covered with his teammates who have arrived in time. Just unbelievable. I mean, now the coordination and the teamwork is there Texture. for sure, but... Team Secret is playing so, so scared because Gen G is beating them at every twist and turn. Spots one, wanted to get a bit more information. A little risky, but the Huntress Fury is going to come out to clear him. He no. still stays alive above the slow orb. Oh, yeah. Envy finally answers back, but it took a little bit too much time. It's a no command and... The lockdown now for Gen G. They want to make this a speedy retake. They know one's up on heaven as he slides all the way out. But Meteor just chases through. No one gets out of my lockdown for free, he says. And that's the defuse being stuck. NDG, you just have to swing out. You just have to get the kills. You have to go for the spray down. But they're ready for it. Half already done. All three members aiming down their barrels. It's another round for Gen G. Waiting to be a A hit from Team Secret. I, I'm going to forgive Munchkin a little. I don't expect the wide swing there either, especially with the Operator in play. Oh, and the snake bites as well. All these mollies coming up from Gen G. It's just keeping oh. them tied up even further as he just walks through the top of the screen. On for the ace for Munchkin, the IGL, and he will get it. Riles up the Korean crowd. Cheering for... Extremely difficult here now, especially Texter's still an Operator to worry about everybody but him. Basically shifted over towards that ace. But Jeremy with a nice shot. Yeah, I guess just wasn't caught when he first swung out onto Conveyor. He's able to Ooh. swing back, and he's ready for the follow-up as well. 
That makes things a little dicey for Gen G. Now, uh, during all of that, able to head over towards the B site. Now, Gen G somewhat prepared for this. Toxic screen. Oh no! Cover up. The pop out from Texture. He's ready for it, and it's the sage of all things. Spike Rez down, down wall down. The spike is no longer safe. He has to stick it, but the snake bite's coming out. It should land. No, Caron finishes it with the Vandal. They know time is in their favor. The pit goes up onto the plant. Team Secret. What you are your answers? Run. You have to wrap around. They're going to Ten the deeper end. Left. Onto Snowman, trying to just protect the spike, and it will Five finish. Oh, it's going to be NDG with the operator that barely saves a round for Secret. So oh, the county boy. utility with the slow orb. And just mid being watched from two by Meteor. He's going to slow Ooh. push out. They want to regain control, and that's yep. a slow walk out from Jeremy. The res was there, trying to beat it up, but Lock is here for way. backup as well. Oh, look at Texture. He's Working getting out of two. That's going to open on. the door here a bit. He needs to get the first kill. If he doesn't, well, it's not going to matter because that potential is now gone. And NDG will open up the site. It's going to be a retake for Gen G as they now swap over to the Vandal. Thrash at the ready, Five but that's all of Team Secret. Oh, much good. Nasty, nasty opener. Yeah. Makia traded right out. But count that down to four. Now the null command. No thrash is going to hurt, but it's just going to be dwindling down to three now. If Texture can find the first kill onto Envy, it will not happen. Munchkin all alone. Fragment lineup to try to clear out behind Yellow. Trying to just funnel them in. It's going to land a little <laughs> bit too far. And that might just be the dying heartbeats of this round for Gen G as Team Seeker will get the fourth round. And just catch up to Forge is going to push all the way into Snowman, given the positioning so far. Just an early check with that zero point. Meteor here. Potential lurk battle with him and Jeremy on the other end of this. They gotta watch out. Oh, they are gonna push all the way through, and it's going to be the Nasrom that goes off. So not the entire team quite there, but Caron picks up the first kill, and he's going to find Sight Borkum eventually cleans it up with the headshot. A nice angle from Texture, but he can't find the kill. Spike still not planted. They have to take it back out of the site, and they're going to have to run all the way through as Meteor has cleared out oh. the A site, but two <laughs> members lost. Now a 2v4. Meteor has to hold true with only 22 HP. He has to do the impossible and dwindle down the numbers of Team Secret as Munchkin has to run in and left. stick the plant. No cover for Munchkin. He's just going to put it as far as possible. Meteor wants the first kill, the run out from Borkum. He's ready for the trade, but Munchkin one for one trade, and that's the wall up. Meteor, you just can't get back into the site. By the time you finish carving out the ice, the spike will be defused, and it's going to be Team Secret picking up the pistol. Huge, huge win here. Tag of damage there on the Meteor. Not much done, actually. Yeah, Meteor barely just getting a scratch there, and it looks to be a double swing out, and he's just going to hold the spray. Just enough for two kills, and the Ghost with the slow orb is going to secure you're a third. The commitment with the Stinger, you really have to stick with it. And he knows just how many bullets he has set up from Team Secret. Meteor looking for a cheeky kill, but the recon is just going to give the fourth over to Envy. Ghost Plants now hunting for the ace. Teammates trying to help scout out for him. And it looks like Jesse Vash is following up on the ropes as well. Now they have information. It's the Stinger spray, and NB will One answer back with an ace of his own. Up. An explosive execute as all five members of Gen G are making their way over. Yeah, all in main as well. I mean, Borkum, if he gets the spray down, if he gets the snake bites accurately, this could shut down the entire thing. He wants to close the angle. He doesn't want to swing out too early, but it might be a little too late. He does hear the tail wow. though. It's the perfect time. As the snake bite goes down, it's going to have the deep up. Eventually gets the kill onto Karon. That slows him down enough. Only 20 seconds left on the clock. No easy way to force this. You gotta send the wingman in. The nano swarm's now done. The dizzy to make sure that the spike goes all the way through, and it's a nice flash as Gen G gets two kills on the board. Three versus two. You do have the res, but do you have the opportunity to use it? No. It will get taken out. They now have information on the last member, Jeremy, with a bulldog. Pushing through. Mosh at the ready. Could just be an easy double swing, and it is as soon as they get audio. It's, yeah, I mean, it's just a full-on slow push up here, and it's been left decently wide open. That knife's not going to get any of the info on Team Secret's position. Yeah, I mean, they know that the entire entrance has been empty, and I think perhaps also just noting that that's been the tendency of Team Secret so far. Wingman actually able to get the spike. A long-range pick initially to try to get through. It's going to be the no command to make sure no extra skills can be used, but they've already pushed through. They've already surrounded Yellow, and Lockie, you have to hold true, but he gets taken out by the Flash, and Caron, he oh can't my. stabilize as he finds two targets on his screen. The two members, Munchkin and Meteor, can't
Can they fire be. through? It's just the IGL left, and he doesn't have enough firepower left in the bank. The Team Post Secret. Plant, makes if you are going to be able to get across this Team Secret team, because they still have their teamwork fully online. Well, speaking of floods, it's going to be a flood onto the A site this time from Gen G. Can't get through the wall too quickly to dash through, but I don't know if he's quite cleared that pocket as they have it, and it be just sprays down too. Thought he would have had the site, but Meteor speaks through. Make sure that he reads through that wall with an eye of his mind. But they just can't get into the site. I mean, the entire push has been spot stopped, but Meteor with a Sheriff. He's not ready to stop just yet. No reason to back out. They want to stick for the fight. Just looking for some gun upgrades. He can't get it. It's just a stinger for Charon. Too many members in NDG will find him at the end. Yeah, plant down. Yeah, just a quick one, but the Hunter's sure gonna be sent out because he knows that they're all corralled into green and it's just going to be an easy kill onto Munchkin. That's an important member. You know, that's one less Molly. Two flashes down, the info down as well. Here. And it's now, that zero point that gives it away. They know what the attack is going to look like. They know where they're setting up. Jesse Bash is going to buy them enough time, but Team Secret, maybe they have some choices to push through. They're trying to make sure that yellow is empty. Texture just trying to get out of five members left still. The pit available, so is the red, so they can get aggressive. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Thrash trying to keep them at bay is going to detain two members, but it's still plenty to go for the defuse. The wall trying to force the half out. The DT just hasn't finished just yet, but NDG with the trade. The res comes back up. It's still four members. The offense is true. Charon needs to get the kills. They haven't got the end yet. And Charon with the firing range. Is it enough? Tondo Gaming comes in, but it will be enough time for Gen G to climb back up to 10. What a play from Charon. What did she get? The spike plan continues to be given up by Team Secret. Look where Jesse's playing with this judge. It's way in the back towards Snowman, expecting some kind of aggressive push out. Well, Borkum just says they're not going to get that far anyway. They're going to have to go through my guns first. Yeah, Borkum finally stopping the plant, stopping the push as well. It's a good shout onto that Snowman, and they have to back out. Now they know the backup's all here. Too I mean, many players of Team Secret here to really accomplish what you want to. Okay, the zero point to push them back. Oh, look at Jesse. Yeah, still haven't heard the judge just yet, though, and the wingman will not get the plant down. And now they just have to push through. They don't have an option. The spike once again stranded, well, and the judge is watching it, ready to lay down the reckoning here. 30 seconds. And it's left. just going to be Gen G corralled around Yellow Meteor, trying to make something happen with a very exposed location. And Jeremy will get the call, picks up the kill. And only 15 seconds left. The round surely in favor. Sure the momentum stops. And now going back to that initial start with the 2-3 split default and without the great weaponry, they will just have to file into the crosshair. It's a nice swing to escape the first shot and Jeremy gets tagged back. Left down to 11 HP. Borkham has to give up on the backup as well. They have to empty the entire site. Jeremy looking for a sliver, but he gets spotted once again. The heal comes out from MB, but the site given up and the pit goes up from Gen G. Borkham does find a nice kill though. On to Texture, that's the Jet Down, the star duelist of Gen G out of the picture. Only two rifles in hand for the Korea team. Oh, great util to clear this pit, but the oh, shooting does! Yeah, they are just getting sprayed down, and the wall comes up, but it's not going to be that what matters. It's just going to be the deaths. You can see Munchkin on the screen of Meteor there on the camera, just kind of giving up, stretching out. Anti-plant defense. Left. Oh, the push in. The Nano Swarm's there Whoop. once again. Just barely getting under the bridge. Just trying to bait out any Five util towards planted. Snowman, but he's just going to hold right under. Wants to cover these angles for his teammates. Be the first point of contact, but he has too many angles to check. I mean, 180 degrees, that's so rough for him, but it's Whoa. going to be Charon still standing right on the site. Denies the lockdown. Envy there to stop the push out. And now, once again, Munchkin and Meteor left all alone. The op just scratches them all the way down, and Meteor just cannot swing around fast enough. Borkum will get the last kill, and Team Secret regains control. Not going to be able to get recovered, but it's a quick push, trying to draw the attention out so they can get the spike safely into the site. Okay. That thrash again. Yeah, send that out, see if they can clear a little bit of space, get a little bit of info, and they do, and they get that plant down as well. Meteor needs to stay alive, but he loses control of Tube. But thankfully for Gen G, they still have two members on the late lurk. The zero point is going to tie up the retake for just a bit longer. He wants his thrash so badly, and he will get it. The Mosh, don't know if it's going to land to clear things out, but NGG, he spotted both, so he's well aware that there is another member coming. And it's a back out entirely, the pit goes up. And you're not going to have too much time to regain control. The Thrash is going to just get shut down by Jesse Vash, and that's the defuse all the way through. The I mean, sites just... themselves haven't changed too much. 
So philosophy is there. The drone is going to spot everybody. I mean, this is just a hard tell that it's an e-push, and the site has been flooded already. Dizzy goes down. Nobody flashed out. It's just a trade from Jeremy, but eventually Karen will push through. Bringing up the firepower for Gen G. The spike will get planted as Karen gets the third. Gen G trying to stay alive. Now a deep lurk from NDG. How many can he get? Rookie for rookie. Can he find the kills? Barely spots one. Is gonna find the first kill onto Karen, but he's not quite aware, but a nice swing onto Meteor. Munchkin has the timing on NDG. 1v1. Munchkin versus Borkman. Munchkin can get this. He doesn't land onto the pipes, but he would get the no command. He realizes that he's not on it. He knows the last angle he was on. Waiting for the jump peak. Should peek out right at the half, and he does find him. The half not quite done yet. He spots the spike as well. Goes for the spray down. Knows that he should be out of time, and Munchkin will secure the kill. Bring up the Nokia. have been afraid to play Team Secret on this map. Everybody remembers how good they were on this map when it was still in the pool last year. Operator for Jeremy gets spotted deep in from that zero point. Both teams getting a lot of information through their initiator utility. Everything rides on this round for Team Secret. If they can close it out, they will start this play in round robin with a match win, getting one step closer towards Masters Madrid. And Jeremy gets taken down. Operator down. Resurrection comes up. But that's the Siege util out. You know the Siege is still there. You're sure that he doesn't get caught out. We'll just keep them at bay, trying to stick around to the very last minute on that lockdown. Jesse Bash gets one oh, going. Envy just pushes okay. forward as the lockdown goes oh. through, and that's going to give an opening for Texture to push all the way in. No command activated later to delay the retake. Spike not planted Clears yet. out the site. Munchkin feeling safe for the plant. Three versus two. No util left on the side of Team Secret. And the flash will keep them at bay. NDG spots one. Should bring out the call for Borkum. Borkum ready for it. No Munchkin still gets the headshot. And NDG has to power through three. One down, two more to go. Can he have the time to do it? The young rookie that was playing online eventually gets taken down. And ladies and gentlemen, it is overtime in our first best of three. Team zero point. Lots of spam trying to stamp texture. Very aggressive. But he does have his back covered. Oh, and he's not going to find the shot. He thinks he might have swung in too deep. And Jeremy with a late timing. Where that player's head is going to pop out. There's a lot of options. Lockia. Ooh, Lockia. And that's a deep flash from his teammate Munchkin. But he's only going to find one kill. He definitely needed more. The spray not going to find the kill onto Envy. It's a quick flood onto the A side. And a nice double swing from NDG and Borkum. We'll clear out the site. And the first round of OT going very much in Secret's way. Caron's still alive, but four... So whatever you can do to bring up that confidence, we know how snappy his aim can get. He's ready for the trades, but it's just another double swing with NDG and Envy. And Team Secret leads 13-2. Trying to, to get them into a position. Secret very quick on the rotate, though. Back up all at the ready. Caron knows that Borkum's playing up in Evan. Borkum has to back out. Karen is still already deep. Secret's just not ready for it. And Texture watching for the lurk. Doesn't find the pick, but gives the information to Caron, who is still holding true on sight. Borkum eventually takes down. His nemesis, the opponent Viper, 1v2. Borkum is in time. Oh, he gets a third. 10 seconds Ten on seconds the clock. Left. Texture, he has to stick the pie. No, he's going for the kill. And he will get it with the shorty shutting down. The turret as well. Operator on the B side. Mosh to buy time. The mollies oh. are all coming through. They just can't get in safely. They will get delayed. Munchkin stays alive in the back of sight. Does he find an angle? He finds one through the screen. Can he find another? No. Jeremy will get that trade, but it's a double stack in the back of sight. Karen and Meteor just holding through his Lockia. Will even things out. Now a 1v2 once again for NDG, and it's going to be Karen, rookie for rookie, as he fires back. Gen G leads a lot of attention on to beat uh, into Jeremy, though. Do they expect this? I mean, surely they have to. They've left it open for so long. Meteor looks like he wants to check it, but the angle is so it's advantageous for Jeremy. Ooh. Meteor just does not think he's already going to be on Kavir. Jeremy now on an island, just wants to buy time. Envy does get picked off across his own wall. If Jeremy dies here, that is going to be bad news for Secret as the site feels so weak. Still 55 oh, seconds. I Gen love G, this. Do they keep in mind... How much time has passed since they have cleared mid for him? He gets one, and that's going to be the end of it. Munchkin saves him. Lucky has been holding control of green. And Gen G, they feel that they are close as they lead the charge onto the site and potentially as they try to lead in the play ins today. Tough situation now on site here for any He's so good. The pings are perfect. He just sprays it down. 25 seconds left. Now, just trying to bait on his position. Lakia's ready One for it. And he gets a trade onto Munchkin. Lakia 
It's mind game for mind game as he only has 9 HP. He has to bait him out and he will get the wraparound. And DG does not suspect it.